Welcome. Today we're going to address, I'll move that out of the way, an issue with Obsidian Book Search plugin. And the issue is that they're using a single API key. And so sometimes when you go to search a book, it doesn't load because there's too many people that have called the API in a day. You got to wait. So today we're going to add our own API key to it because there's not currently an option in the plugin for it. I've requested one. I think that there is a um, issue that's going to give us our spot to add our own API key. But where does this come from? Ultimately, this comes from, I'll switch over to my screen here. This user right here, uh, Vityav, Vityav. So there's a link in the blog post that goes with this as well. And he, or they described what to do, right? Get your Google Books API key. You may need to enable it. Then you need to add it in that spot. So we're gonna go through that for you. First thing we need to do is again, click the link and there'll be a link in my description. Click this link, go to our API screen. And we're going to create credentials, create API key. Now I'm going to show you my API key, but I'm going to delete this after. So I would not recommend you do this. I'm going to delete this so this API key will no longer be valid, but I can copy it, close. The next thing I'd actually recommend you do is click on the API key and we restrict the key and we can restrict it to books only. Okay. And save. Now we could also, uh, if you notice, there's other restrictions here by website, by IP address, other stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. And I'll actually label this as well. I'll close the call out first. Cancel. There you go. Test books. That works for me. Save. Okay. So we have our API key. Next up, we need to locate our vault. Actually, next up, first we need to do is make sure that the API, our books API is enabled for us. And I'm click this link here. Um, this link will again be in the blog post. And we're looking that it says, in my case, it says disable because it, it is enabled. So I don't need to worry about it. It is enabled. Otherwise you would enable it. Okay, next up, we need to go to finder. And we're going to come actually come back here. I'm going to hide hidden files. So I would come into my documents. Oh, come into my documents here. And then I would go to my vault, which is M1 Air Obsidian Vault. If you're not sure, then you can go to Obsidian. Bring my Obsidian back over. Click the vault in the bottom corner. And you can see right here the path for the, my main vault users, Curtis McHale documents. Those are my instructions, so I'll just move them off my screen again. And now on Mac OS, you can see I don't actually see, I'm looking for a hidden folder called .obsidian. I don't see it here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, hit shift command period, it shows me this file. I'm gonna go to plugins, and I'm going to book search plugin. And what we need to open is this right here. And I'm going to two finger click and I'm going to open with BB edit because that is my default uh, browser. All right, so now we have open in BB edit. The text we're actually looking for is this T lang restrict O. So for me, I hit command F. All right, I'm just going to grab it here. I originally grabbed it from here though, right there, T lang restrict O. T lang restrict O, so I hit command F and search for it. All right, next, we find it. I've already highlighted it, so it's not going to do it. And now we need to type in what they say here. So we're gonna type in T, oh, capitals T dot key equals, and we need quotes, and then a semicolon at the end. And then we'd come back to our API key. And we can show key, copy our key, paste it in. Now we hit save, command S, save. And I can quit this. Again, I'm gonna delete this key after so I don't need to worry about it. That's it. Now, if I went to book search, I could find a book. So I'm gonna hit my keyboard command, something, searching for any book, something dreadful down below. And now I have added this book and I'm using my own API key now. I'm not using the API key share between all the other users of the plugin. That means that I have, I think it's a thousand a day requests to this API, and I do not need to worry about um, going over or having a pause on me, anything like that. Uh, that's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. 
you really want to support the channel, the best way is to become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. That is how this whole thing keeps rolling with the members. Members also get access to my raw book notes, and we're actually building a special tool just for members to be able to see my... Everyone will be able to see what I've been reading, but everyone, but members will be able to see my raw notes on all the books so that they can really dig into them if they want. That's it. Have an awesome day.